Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Black Ice campaign. We are just preparing for the glorious, the wonderful, the invasion of Italy. They have moved their bombers from Belgium and with that we're going to take this as a signal. We should spread ours out, or we should certainly shouldn't overstack. And uh, let's see, if we put 400 in each air zone, I bet that'll intercept most stuff. Right, right, I was going to put up some radar. Wow, radar coverage is huge in this mod. If we just get one more radar tech, then one in Picardy might cover the whole uh, the whole William the Conqueror coast. Is there a name for the coast between Brittany and Brabant? Friesland, I guess. Brabant is Brabant's somewhere around here, isn't it? Because he owned most of this coast, didn't he? Or at least had tacit control over most of it. I know he was the Duke of Normandy, don't get on my head. <laughs> don't get on on me for not saying that. But he also had significant control over lots of this region, I think. Alright, 200 can fly from right in the centre. 200 can fly here. That leaves us three... 400 spare planes. <clears throat> standing ready to assist in the attack on, on, uh, on Italy here. Only one of them is the newer version, though, that actually has the range. Uh, I guess the others should probably fly from Switzerland. Do you have better coverage from Switzerland? Mm, that looks worse to me. I can't see a mission efficiency. If I hover, though, 66% debuff here. And uh, no debuff from here. Pardon. There we go, 45. Okay, that's better. Uh, let's put the junkers in here. <clears throat> I thought I already did this. All right, we don't have the manpower for it. Deploy these guys and then just stop for a minute. Okay. Gimme, give gimme give the Junkers. Thank you. Good, they have great range. Great range by comparison. Uh, got encryption, good. Next. Could start doing some atomic research. I mean, come on. We kind of got it, haven't we? Ah, uh, but also we're on the radar station. I think we should absolutely get nukes. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to. It might take quite a while. Wow, look at that. Like, just this 16. Can I see? I don't think I can, but I, I want a way to see like, how much weight does this army have. I'm writing that down. Let's see, wait... That would be a really helpful thing to know. What's the total weight of a specific army? All right, Italy. Put all you want in Lombardy. I'm coming through, whether you're ready or not. More resistance? I thought we had resistance in France under control. Well, let's go deal with it. Luxembourg causing some problems. Did I actually leave someone here? I don't know, leave next run if not. Over here in the Swiss area we need some. This is all one area, isn't it? And here we will need one once these guys move out. It's probably because we had some troops in the region when we last assigned. Paris, are you overstacked by chance? No? Many of these places I think are going to be overstacked. And you know what I'm going to do? Between this episode and the next I'll take a chance to look at all of the resistance and remove any of these that are excessive. Oh god. What we do need right now deal with this. Maybe England's taken a decision to like support, you know, support the anti-German resistance or something, which has given us an increase. I'm just making stuff up at this point though. Okay. <clears throat> War with Italy. Over-importing on oil. Under-importing on rubber, but there's not much we can do about that. Getting there. Getting there. Those synth oil refineries, sorry, synth rubber refineries are very nearly done. Bit of a threadbare... Right, right, because I called these guys back. No, get to the front, please. I forgot about that. Let's speed things up while everyone just gets into position. Planes are ready, but planes should stand down so we don't have any crashes of the planes, not of the game. So they appear to be all going over the Benelux right now. We're disrupting them pretty well. Oh, they are throwing some bombers over central Germany. How dare they. 
don't have the freaking manpower. It's trickling in. Like sort of on. I think we will now divert resources to synthetics. So we can do the... Uh, well, these can't do until 42. And 43. We can do dive bombers, though. Which is good, because that helps... We actually do want that, don't we? That requires tack air effect, though, not divert to synthetic resources. We're using the Junkers. The Junker... Research bonus is Junker A Stuka and Junkers 87B Stuka. Don't think that's what we're using. Don't know where they are, even. Or is this the... Oh, it is, yeah, this is the D, Stuka. We need research for the D and the D5. Uh, D, D5. It is there. It's be after December of next year, though. So we don't need to do that now. Uh, oh, here we go. We could do this. Do we have the 100F already? I think we do. I think that's the one I rushed for the range. Yes. But is there a research bonus for the G? There, that's H. There isn't one for the G. There's one for the H. But where's the H? I don't see that anywhere. Is, is these wrongly named? Is this G, not H? Fogwolf A. Is it this one? Yeah, it must be this one. Is this better? No, it's range is crap. I want to go with the longer range ones. Well, the other thing we could consider is... Uh, where are the repeating texts? Here they are. Some of these are good, so... Oh, have these been broken? Yeah, these are broken. These used to be special... Here they are. Here are the special uh, Black Ice ones. Oh, they've changed these as well. Cool. Like, that is really good. 10% high production efficiency cap. And uh, you get more air accidents and more attrition, but, I mean, come on. Monthly population could be nice. Uh, faster repair speed. To the front could be good as well. Does that give you... you know, just driven in training time. It does give you a good population factor, but not, like, faster mobilization is what that should give you, really. I don't know if you can... Mod have a modifier, which is that though. Weekly stability plus fifteen percent. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, you could do air production or army training. Makes factory slightly less good. It gives you. Uh... Nah, that's not worth it. I don't think. Construction engineering, synth refinery build speed. It probably doesn't work, does it? I bet this doesn't work. Let's check. Uh, yep, doesn't work. Because this isn't a synthetic refinery. It's a synthetic rubber refinery. Synthetic refineries aren't a thing that exists in this mod. Black Ice, you should pay me to be a QA. I promise I'll be less rude about your, uh, your, your German army stuff. <laughs> Let's get this. The artillery research bonuses. Alright, everyone in position? Not quite. Do, do, do. I was considering learning to use a QA program the other day. In terms of, uh, you know, I think I could be quite good at that. Italy wants to send volunteers. I have a different idea. I think QA would be, I think it would be a pretty good job. If you were, if the problem is, right, it would be quite fun if you enjoyed the game you were QA for. If it was like, I mean, I should be careful what I say here. Like, ruin future employment prospects. If it's some rubbish mobile game. <laughs> that might be quite dull. But maybe maybe if you got into it just as a, a kind of thing to do. Like, if you just got into it as a, as a job, maybe it'd be fun even if you thought the game was rubbish. Maybe you'd become a connoisseur of bad games. <laughs> Alright, we would like... Well, division training time is valuable, because it, you, your division training time keeps going up the more you mobilize. So maybe I should research that. Or I could do this ahead of time, which is absolutely what I'm going to do. Less good population, but 25%. 
factory output is ridiculous. All right, Italy, I think we're ready, pretty much. Get the air wings in the air, declare the war. They have really good encryption, apparently. Massive tank breakthrough. They did join the Allies, darn! Followed immediately by the mechanized. I'm gonna slow it right down. Look at this, look at this annihilation. A thousand defense. You think that's gonna save you? It won't. Alliance with Italy has been bypassed. Not cancelled or, you know, failed. Just bypassed. <laughs> I like that, it's funny. In we come. Mechanized leading the charge. God, it's these these unit counters. There are many wonderful, wonderful things about Black Ice. The unit counters make me want to pull my teeth. I spoke to the mod creator about the unit counters. One of the mod creators, I think the main guy. And he didn't know what I meant when I said the unit counters had changed shape with no additional information. I think, hang on, I think they're actually better now. Have they fixed it and did I not notice? The unit counters look less huge than they did before. Is that just me? I think they look better. I just want to widen this penetration slightly. Could you support attack please? Excuse me? Oh, I have no one in this tile. Why not? Pocket all of these guys instantly. Nice. Let's push one of these guys west. Pocket and annihilate half the Italian army immediately over here. Air Force has gone to average. Panzer Division, no need, no need. Uh, do we have any spare tr more planes that we could have? Yeah, 200 more fighters. Uh, they're the really short range of ones though, so I think I'm going to put them over the Benelux instead. Don't have the manpower anyway, never mind. The other thing about taking these areas is we are going to get some manpower out of it. A very small amount. Battle for Milan is uh, pretty tough. No fort, but a lot of defenders. There we go. Pocketed. Which means it's time to launch some offensives in here. They do have forts on here, and it is mountainous. So, yeah, let's not bother. We'll call that off in a couple of hours. It was just a, it was a joke. Call it off. Would you... Please call off, thank you. Cool. We'll just let them bleed a bit in terms of uh, supply. I'll push them out of the east a bit. Cool. Uh, and all you guys should stay assigned to this one. Good. Keep on pushing. Now we're going to push across here to Ferrara and then pocket all the Venetian troops. Sounds good. They are moving down, moving to respond to the threat, but I think they're going to be far, far too slow. It's my suspicion. All right, and yes, you guys temporarily should just stay on this front here, in that area, so that they don't break through while the infantry is moving into position. You as well. Here, both of you. Let's go over there and make sure they don't get out. Fantastic. Of course, we have devastating supply issues. I'm just hoping that we can push through before that, uh, before those issues become critical. Ooh, got day-night cycle on. Whoops. We are suffering a bit. The uh, supply grace should still be in force at the moment. I think. Free military factory. Uh, you know what? Let's just put it on synth. Let's just for now, just just stick it on mechanized. I know we're not wanting that right now. Oh, I've hit the button that hides enemy troops. I thought it was looking a bit empty around here. <laughs> um, let's put it on those. We're about to get the rubber that we'll need to actually fuel that mechanized growth. Keep the ball rolling. Holding back their offensive over here so far. You guys are uh, being a bit silly. Need you to stay here, please. Thank you. They weren't actually being silly. That's unfair of me. I just didn't give them the right orders. Mechanized leading the charge. Oh, I hadn't realized what the mechanized... Look at the mechanized... Look, <laughs> look at the little guy bouncing back and forth. That's so cool. <laughs> I like that. 
South Tyrol. Venice will fall. We should probably take here. Now we can begin an offensive on this side. Partly just to pin them in place. Should probably have paused while I launch major offensives. Having some trouble. Let's uh, just slightly reduce the number of attacks we're doing so we can support attack. If you ever launch a big offensive and it doesn't go as well as you thought it would, cancel a couple of them, couple of them and then use them to support adjacent attacks. That's the key. Rushing down here. Florence fallen, almost. They must have very low supply in there. Actually zero. Interesting. I guess... There's no, is there no such thing as a local supply base in uh, in Black Ice? That does make sense. Because, yes, supply to one extent is food and things. And, uh, you know, a city can provide you with food. But a city, you know, without a re existing uh, supply stockpile can't provide you with ammunition. Uh, let's cut these guys off here. And likewise here. I think they may have absolutely no men left that aren't pocketed, or just about to be pocketed. <clears throat> Keep these guys moving this way. Good. We could take the city from them, that would be ideal. How many uh, men should we have in the field we currently don't have? What? Reinforcement requests. We have given them 2.7 million out of 2.4 million manpower. Okay, I think there might be something wrong with that tool tip. <laughs> that doesn't sound plausible. Because that says we both do and don't have a manpower shortage. I'm confused. <clears throat> An Italian tank! Is it any good? Of course not. Okay. Uh, give me some... Uh, give me some infantry support down here, please. I don't want our... Balls to the wall advance to get cut off. Excellent. We did lose an attack up here. And they've been driven back here, but considering the speed of the advance in the south, I think uh, we'll call it a wash. That's a bit of a problem. You guys should start pushing in here. Keep them pinned. Take San Marino. Interesting UI. Okay, keep coming in here. Just close these pockets. Now they are actually pockets. We should be able to destroy them. Looks like the uh, mechanized would maybe be better placed. Let me press H, please. Thank you. Better placed holding them off for a second. I'm sure. All right, we'll deal with them after we've dealt with these guys. Okay, keep it going down here. Can we push these guys now? They're actually pocketed. Looks like we can. Fantastic. Right, yes, the, uh, the planes could do with moving. <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. I don't want to put them into the Italian supply regions. Use up the precious, precious little supply we do have here. Move it to them to the front. Good. If we could take this port, that would be ideal. So let's push hard in here. Go Triste, pocket the port, then move in. These guys keep going down from the south. No, I wanted you here. And you here. And sure, let's throw another one in there. Good. Uh, not winning this attack, but keeping them in place. While these guys move in, give them the pocketed penalty. And at this point, we can begin some Mad Dash-style advances, I think. Okay, got them down to one province, which means we should be able to annihilate them. Phenomenal. Last remnants. Oh, we never checked final French casualty count. Just shy of one million. Do-do-do... Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, what the heck? I didn't notice this at all. I th I find the borders much harder to see in uh, in Black Ice. I completely forgot about Zara. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting, that's an interesting kettle of fish, isn't it? All right, we'll send half of uh, of Rommel's men to deal with that. Have them deploy to north and south of the problem. And uh, and then move in to <laughs> to deal with that lot. It shouldn't be a huge issue because uh, you know you can take Croatia and I'll take Central Italy. <laughs> I know uh, who's going to win on the back of that kind of trade. 
Okay, some spare tanks here now. Let's have them down here. Palermo is obviously the end tar target. They've got loads more war support now that they're uh, in a defensive war, but I don't think it will be enough to save them. Tanks moving ever so slowly at only 10 kilometers an hour. My lord. Compared to the mechanized, it really starts to feel slow, which is kind of outrageous. Because it's crazy fast. Remember, 10 kilometers an hour. I mean, it doesn't sound fast if you're driving, but it's 10 kilometers an hour every hour, 24 hours a day. So it's obviously, you know, it's factoring in time for sleep and all that. They're traveling fast. I wonder how close Italy is now. 50% of the way there? Oh, Rome hasn't actually fallen yet. I was going to say, I thought we'd be more than 50% of the way there with all of northern Italy and Rome having fallen to us. Okay, continuing to put the squeeze on them over here in the Venetian area. What's the collective name for like this region of Italy? Is there a name? Venice, Tyrol, uh, Istria? I want to say Torrento, but I know that's a... I think that's just one place. Treviso, sorry. Oh no, there is Torrento. Hmm. I'm not sure. Fosh Naples. You guys just come down here. I know there's supply issues, but we're uh, we're making do. Oh my babe, sweet Jesus. Why is there such terrible supply? Because it's trying to sail the supplies in. What a terrible, terrible idea. Why is my music not playing? Ah! The song, the, the soundtrack ended, that's why. Alright, next up. Rome Total War soundtrack, let's go. Uh, close the pocket on here, please. Hey, Rommel, get up here. <laughs> Can begin the war with Greece soon. Oh, go on, let's just send the rest of the guys from Greece too. Just deal with this mess. That was a pretty big, pretty big mistake. <laughs> oh, well. We're coming through. Do, do, do. Gotta love the Rome Total War soundtrack, it's spectacular. Right. So yeah, none of this really matters because there's none of their victory points. And it's, you know, we win when we take a certain portion of their core victory points. So I don't think it matters at all, really. Do, do, do. Uh, short on oil. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give Soviets. Rubber. Don't have any more for me. Almost there. 30th of August. Four days. Four days and we'll have some more. Italy is now at 75% auto capitulation. This guy is apparently overstacked. So one of these guys should switch back over to Runstead's army. Runstead now has no orders. Here, Runstead, you can help crush this area. Partly just for the training, really. But do just finish him off, if you would be so good. Thank you. You guys, let's be having you in the south, please. And you mechanized. Do, do, do. Resistance, obviously, becoming an issue in northern Italy, but I'll deal with that once we finish the invasion. And off camera. Alright, pushing in there. Come in from the north, good. This equipment production, I think it's just going to be fighters, yeah. Additional area reinforcements required for fighter. Ah, these guys, yeah. I think the uh, the increased number of fighter variants, in uh, sorry, plane variants, in Black Ice is pretty cool, but it's, it's very annoying as well. <laughs> I, on balance, I think it's a good thing, but it is annoying way it means then you need to separately have a logistical you know production line for all kinds of different things I don't really know why I'm pushing in here I think just training is, is the only good answer I can give but it's probably not worth wasting equipment pushing in here when the push in the south is going to end the war very shortly I suspect Naples has fallen they're up to 89% I think Toronto will probably do it let's speed up not to first five not to speed five pause 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 not to speed five. Tank push down to Toronto. In fact, we might take Palermo as well. 
these stupid fast mechanized are uh, tearing their way through. I think that might be my favorite thing about Black Ice. The ability to do super fast Blitzkrieg's. Maybe you can in uh, in vanilla as well, I just don't. <laughs> we could put up some more flak defenses. Oh, that's why I was going to do divert resources. Because we could do rocketry, Wunderwaffe, and then extra research slot. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to take a while. A freaking while. But uh, it's okay. We're playing the long game here. We uh, we intend to take out the USA. I mean, if they join the war. If I can, if I can beat the UK before the USA joins, then... Uh, I might clear up Asia before I go after the USA. Finally, Italy has capitulated. Another bit of uh, British expeditionary force wiped out there. But this counts as overseas, so they haven't capitulated here. <laughs> Rommel, if you could overkill them, please. Okay, now we need to move our infantry out of the area so I can see how many troops we need for military policing. And then... Uh, where should we go next? I guess we should go after Turkey and Greece. Oh, and uh, Albania. <laughs> we should definitely go after Albania. Uh, yes, send half of them there. Half of them there. Uh, Witspen, whatever your name is. Uh, I don't really have much use for you. I guess you can prepare for a invasion of Switzerland. Switzerland. Sweden, sorry. There are some similarities between Switzerland and Sweden. Both kind of faux neutral in World War II. By faux neutral, I mean like pretended to be neutral, but we're actually pretty much just helping out the Germans. I don't say this with judgment. Uh, any country that wanted to survive did pretty much the same thing. All right, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four of those. And we'll send the rest to Switzerland. So, good lord, the Sweden! <laughs> Okay, looking good. Uh, in between episodes, I will just let these guys move to where they're going and then do some garrisoning in Italy, and then I shall see you in the next one. See you then. Bye-bye.